Are you sure she's a classmate? You sure she's not a pig in disguise? How can you say so? Those extra strength sleeping pills I gave her are meant to wear off after 24 hours. It's been 30 and she's still snoring away. You don't think she's tired from all the sleeping? And is... sleeping it off maybe? Only a pig could sit there snoring at a time like this. Are you really looking to die? That it? You two. They've changed you. It, it was, was him! him. I, I had, had nothing, nothing to do, to with, do it. with it! Say your last words. Make it quick. You either die for a great cause, or for nothing at all. Dying for a brother? Now that's a great cause. Get out of here. What are you still here for? Go grab me some clothes. Haven't you seen enough? Out with it. What's the plan? If there were a Kododanma that acted as a kind of mass hypnotism, perhaps making us completely forget a person's existence, even then, it couldn't completely wipe out every trace of them. According to you, this Johan Chu was in Shilan for the last 18 years or so. And there's some faint clues on him here. That's why you came to Shilan? According to Luminous, this Johan Chu was something of an idol at Shilan Middle School. We'll go and seek out his teachers and classmates from back then, and the countless girls infatuated with him. A lead will present itself, I'm sure. I get it. Let's go then. Then you're willing to cooperate with us? I knew you had a just heart, deep down inside. Justice, my foot! You basically kidnapped me. Brought me
How's the hunt for clues going? If I were Luminous, I'd have got with every girl in middle school. I'd saddle ride on over to each new lady I met after each day at school. I'd flick my hair back, gaze at them and say, How about getting a girl to fall for you would be the easiest thing in the world? What, with your status, right? Which makes me wonder, how on earth have you stayed single all this time? All of this is Johan Chu, a great basketball player, a sharp mind, and among the top three students in the city. But he's vanished. Now, all his experiences are left to me instead. There's a couple of peculiarities here, but I still need to look around, see if there's anything else. You've been abroad all this time and you never gave me a call. You're not shy now, are you? Well, our professors are so busy with work all the time. That's why they're a bit odd. I can't believe it. Luminous, you've got a girlfriend? Is she American? No, no. Finger can vouch for that. These past few years I've been so busy working with the family minds, but I often think of you. I remember watching you play basketball out on the courts. How time flies. We meet again. Do you really think so little of me? 
you and your big bro never realized, or perhaps pretended never to realize, that there was an easier option. And so, I'm here to show it to you. In the world where Johan Chu exists, he eclipses the glory of you and your big bro. You've lived in his shadow for so long, doesn't it weigh you down? Now you can cast off his shadow, take his place. All you need to do is forget him, then the last trace of his existence shall be purged. In a world without Johan Chu, you both can shine like you've always wanted to. Don't be so quick to refuse. You've been under his wing for too long, that's all. You should close your eyes and experience it for yourself. A world free from limitation. You're alright too. That's... Join us in the Lionheart Society. I'm officially... I don't know if you're wrong or right. But sometimes you just can't predict what the future holds. And can only trust our deepest feelings. But no matter what, you can give up on it. Uh, well, it's clearly possible to live carefree in so why must you push on alone in a cold world of ice? Have you realized yet? The success you've always considered me as having, this jacket was tailored for me by the student union. And beneath this jacket there stands, a good for nothing, I don't care what they say. I'm still a basket cake. I'm the only one in the world who thought there was another Johan Chu in this middle school. He's my best friend, from cradle to the grave. The grades, the basketball, all this glory, but he's vanished, like dew evaporating in the morning sun. As a Sheeland Middle School graduate, I'm honored to be given an opportunity to speak on behalf of my old... Thank you, Ev Everyone in this school thinks Luminous is some kind of god, but we think he's an idiot. These two sure have very different impressions, it would seem. I remember when I came across Luminous in the movie theater. He looked so lonely. Like a dog who'd lost his bone, licking his wounds in the corner. One usually aloof to the point of having no friends, sitting with his tail between his legs in my car. It's too great a contrast. Something's fishy about it, that's for sure.
Hello, Principal. I'm Finger. Castle Principal Anjo always adored. Uh, I mean, favored Luminous. You're the same as Principal Anjo, a mentor to Luminous. You flatter me. What's this I hear of another fine student being accepted to Castle College, Principal? I recall their surname was Chu. Has he not returned to take part in the campus celebrations? No, no. I can't say I remember any student surnamed Chu who headed abroad. I do remember one such person, though. How about you have the Dean's office check the student registry for him? No worries. A couple of phone calls would be enough to sort this out, right? We checked the student registry records and the graduate roll. There's definitely no Johan Chu. You must be mistaken. <laughs> well, we must have remembered it all wrong. Doesn't seem to have improved much. Right, so if Willow Chen is looking forward to seeing you right now, then that whole matter where you missed your chance to confess your love at the movie theater must not have happened. And Nono must not have saved you either. So? So, right now, she must not even know who Nono is. You can go ask. Willow, do you know Nono? You seem pretty scared of her. Of course I know her. She's at Castle College with you, right? We had just finished our literature club meeting at the time. And you were giving a presentation up on stage. She burst in grabbed you, and hopped in a Ferrari to go take part in some dinner, I think it was. We could only gawk in amazement. Oh, so I wasn't being bullied. Everyone was actually on my side. Great! Is someone trying to mess with you, Luminous? Looks like I wasn't just talking nonsense. <laughs> to behold in the basketball court, Luminous. You're the student union president. You've got an ace secretary, a dance troupe. Well, seems like Luminous doesn't want to talk to us. No, no. Eat up. Excuse me a moment. I'm going to the bathroom. That girl, isn't she the one we had a video chat with in Japan? They do bear a strong resemblance. Say, which do you prefer? The girl from Japan sure is sweet. A nice girl. But she's not bad either. A good talker. Right. What kind of trouble did you get into in Japan anyway? The Yakuza are not to be messed with. They're terrifying. As if. You think I'd get mixed up with criminal gangs? It's that girl's family. Whenever she would sneak out, they'd pull out all the stops to make a huge display of capturing her. Take her back home. As long as everyone's fine. I know you young people aren't kids anymore. 
and you don't like old timers like me asking you all sorts of questions. After the video chat back then, I thought long and hard. How could Luminous have fallen into the underworld? What kind of life is he living now? I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I assumed it was because I was getting on. Too old to understand young people in their world. As long as you're sure in your heart. Unlike some, I won't talk your ear off about it. Just wait until I graduate and make a killing. Then I'll take you to America. Show you the sights. Luminous, you're a capable guy. Just like your father. But just look at that tax-free shopping area. All lit up and wonderful. Isn't that enough for you? Back home, everything is ready for you. Cars, houses, beautiful girls. Isn't that what life is all about? You've considered it before, I'm sure. You just pop up everywhere, don't you? Really now? You're treating me as if I'm some insurance salesman. I'm not here for your life this time, but to present you with a gift. A wonderful gift. All customers are welcome to partake in our cashback event, starting today. Oh? Tell us then. I'm giving you a chance here. If you wish, you can stay here in this city. Live a normal life. You can choose someone to love. Willow Chen, Siobhan Su, and make time to play. You can have your own house, your own thing. You needn't wander any longer. You can live a life free from stress, grow old comfortably. Tempting, right? You know deep down it's what you've always longed for. Just like you're living in a dream, you're leaving out something important. If I will it, there could never again be one named Johan Chu in this world, right? Of course. In fact, it'd cause a lot of trouble were Yo in this world. I'm the king of Shilan Middle School. And I'd rather not shit. But he's my friend! We were born together! We'll die together too! You're ruthless indeed! Don't make me laugh. You think a fall from this height is enough to kill a demon? No, I'm not the devil. I'm a mere monster. Aren't we all? There'll come a day when you'll be crushed by the hand of justice. What are you just standing there for, Luminous? Can't you see it's raining? Let's head back. What are you standing at the doorway for? Get inside. You're the same as when you were a kid. Never focused. Finally! Somewhere to sleep! Everywhere's demanding ID cards for entry. I wouldn't dare try and check into a hotel. Did you find anything out? No. Nobody remembers this Johan Chu. And their memories all seem to be the same. You're a member of Shilon Middle School. But I reckon something is wrong here. What's the issue? Considering what kind of guy you are, how could you just stand by and do nothing at a middle school where every girl is falling for you? It just doesn't match your personality at all. Beat it, right? This is a problem right here. If I had all those chances to act upon since I was a kid, why would I have been so shy before No-No? Perhaps you've a thing for older women? I'll go online to see if I can find any more clues.
Luminous is a good kid, just lonely. His parents are archaeologists, dashing around across the globe on their excavation projects. And he'd never see them again after he reached the age of 12. He never really had any close friends at middle school. His eyes were cold and lonely back then. This time, though, he has come back different. While he carries a sense of tragedy, you can tell he's not so lonesome anymore. Thank you. I'm glad that Luminous was able to make some true friends in America. It looks like Luminous has found a place he belongs. How can I be so sure of this, you ask? Well, us humans, we're good at telling when something is up with kids. You're awake too. Hey, that whole business with that stony face guy is still bothering me. Can't sleep. Right. Maybe we could go find some leads at this place. You coming? Then let's go. In you get. Let's go for a ride. The one from before? No, a different car. This is a sweet ride. Are you going to get the car? Let's drive around the city a couple times. Maybe there will be some hidden details we come across that can help her profile. But nothing comes to mind that's of any use.